to the needs of people living with dementia is up for a national award. This is the Mead Holiday Home in Topsham, being nominated in the Alzheimer's Society's first ever dementia-friendly awards. Today, the Society and Public Health England launch a national appeal to encourage more people to become dementia-friendly. Sally Rutledge has been telling producer Anna how this Devon Holiday Home came about. As nurse, I've been uh, a nurse for 30 odd years, and it was my father in law having Alzheimer's disease 10 15 years ago that led me to think there must be something that I can do to help other people with dementia um, and their carers, especially. So I set up the Mead, which is a holiday home that supports people with dementia when they come on holiday. People might hear that and think, but What's different about a holiday home that's, that's for people with dementia? Would, would anyone go in and spot noticeable differences? Not at all. It's, it's just like ho any holiday home. But I think people like to know that um, it's, it's set up with dementia in mind. So it's, it's, it's uh, comfortable. So it's a home from home for people so that they feel relaxed. They also know that I'm there 24-7, not actually at the property, but I'm on call. So if anyone needs me while they're there, they know that. And I think that's the security that they need because they, they don't always feel they can get away from home. They don't feel that they can leave their own home and their own surroundings. But if they know that they've got me there as a backup. These awards, when I first read about it and I read some of the people you're up against, there's some fairly sort of big names in there that you're, you're up against. I, I know, I can't believe it. It's, uh, there's, there's BT, um, there's a bus company and there's a university. And then there's little old me, so <laughs> um, I'm, I'm very excited and I'm thrilled that the Alzheimer's Society has noticed that or recognised that there are there is a big need, there's a huge need and we need more people like me setting places up around the country. People don't want to travel very far, so they might only want to travel two and a half, three hours and at the moment, as far as I know, I'm pretty unique and there aren't other places like the Mead in the country. I mean, for you, I know it's an honour to be nominated, but... What would it be like if you won this award later this month? Oh, wow. <laughs> um, I think just the recognition. It's, it's getting, the, getting people to hear about me has been the hardest thing. I've been going now for five years, and I'm by no means full. So it's, it's getting people to hear about what, what is out there and, and letting people know that there is something out there. There are people that care about people with dementia and will want to help. And... Uh, so, so yes, it would, it would, it would be huge, huge. When you started out on what I suppose really was quite a personal journey, really because of your father-in-law, did you ever imagine you would end up in a national competition against, you know, some enormous businesses? No, I, I have tried of different awards along the way, and it is, it is always hard. But I think this is quite special, and um, my mum and my daughter are going to come along and support me, which is lovely because they've, my family have been very supportive, and it has been. It has been a bit of a shot in the dark. You know, is it going to work? And uh, but I, I love doing it, and yes, it's so enjoyable. And meeting lovely people. Well, good luck, and uh, we'll catch up with you at the end of the month. Thank you very much. We'll follow her progress. Sally Rutledge there from the Mead in Topsham speaking to Anna. The ceremony, by the way, is on the 20th of May. We'll let you know That's how it. she gets on. Uh, and, of course, she's trying to uh, become more dementia-friendly as we're trying to make the county more dementia-friendly. It seems that... Uh,